example of rituals. When I bathe my child at night, um, I just pour water over them to make them clean. Compare this to a baptism where the water is poured very slowly and it means um, cleansing of sins. On the one hand, the action has no particular significance or meaning. On the other, it does. So, if, if you like, uh, we could think of ritual as one, an action, two, that fo follows a set procedure, and three, these actions in the procedure have some sort of meaning or symbolic significance. They're not just purely practical or technical action, okay? They're not just purely a means to an end, to get to the uh, graveyard as quickly as you can because you've got a meeting afterwards, or to wash the, the dirt off your kids as quickly as you can because you want them to get into bed so you can sit down and watch TV. So that's the basic idea, I think, of ritual. Now, what, what have some of the famous anthropologists had to say about rituals? Uh, Durkheim, who's not an anthropologist, strictly speaking, but a sociologist, got us going with this. And he said that actions Ritual are actions directed towards sacred things, things that are set apart. Like at Anzac Day, we worship the flag, the last, um, the, th sorry, through the flag, through the last post on the trumpet and stuff. We worship our ancestors, our national ancestors who gave their lives in war. Um, so something sacred or set aside. And by doing this, according to Durkheim, we create a sense of community. So uh, rituals bond people into a sense of community. This makes a lot of sense when you think you have your uh, ch children's birthday party, it bonds family and friends together. When you have a church service, it bonds all the congregants together. When you have an Anzac Day, it bonds Australians in theory together. That was Durkheim's theory. Another famous anthropologist is Malinowski. Malinowski draws on Durkheim because Malinowski is a functionalist. He says that uh, ritual is action which can relieve anxiety. For example, we might bless a car or say uh, some of my uh, Muslims friends will say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim before they drive and that's a ritual which will provide good luck so they don't have an accident while they um, drive. Now Durkheim says by saying Bismillahirrahmanirrahim you actually provide confidence for yourself and you're going to drive better as a result. You'll drive safer because you're more confident because you've done the ritual. That's Malinowski's theory. Uh, Radcliffe Brown said, it was, said, hang on, Malinowski, you've got it wrong. It's the opposite. It's the exact opposite. We do rituals to create anxiety. For example, you say Bismillahirrahmanirrahim before you drive in order to become anxious and aware so that you, you drive more safely. So both guys disagreed on, on the role of ritual in relation to anxiety. Um, more recently, uh, the famous postmodern slash post-structural thinkers, the Komarovs, have argued that ritual is in fact everyday mundane action. Now, um, I think uh, most anthropologists would dis disagree with me here, but I actually think that deprives ritual of its usefulness as an idea. Um, so I would think it's better to reserve things, uh, ritual to refer to things like baptisms and not to things like cleaning your children. So in conclusion, I'm going to say that uh, rituals have three aspects. One, they are an action. Number two, they follow a set procedure. And number three, they are symbolically meaningful. They are significant. Thank you very much.